Hey, welcome back. My name is Sterling and this is my channel about motorcycle travel filmmaking. And in this video, I'm going to share 10 tips about filming your own motorcycle travel adventure. Here in Bisbee, Arizona, where we live, my girlfriend Eva and I run the Jonquil Motel. We cater to adventure motorcyclists and we can share all of our favorite riding destinations with you guys. Two people that have stayed with us for the last couple of weeks are gonna be on this trip with us right now. They're doing a really exciting project called Shifting Fears. I'm gonna be sharing some of my tips about motorcycle filmmaking and I'm gonna be teaching someone new to the game how to do this. In the last two weeks, you've been sitting here cutting together footage of your your first part of your journey. Yeah, just editing way too long. Shifting Fears is a project that Ryan and I put together looking at the concept of locking yourself into a particular way of expressing and being and how fear plays a huge part in that. Yeah, Ryan's been wanting to be a filmmaker for quite some time and it's been his dream and he's dived into it. We just released our trailer in episode one and he did an excellent job with that. Tip number one, find a story to tell. Ryan and Nima have a concept called Shifting Fears, and that's a great start. That's the story of their journey that they're going to be fleshing out on their motorcycle adventure. When you begin your journey, think about the story that you want to communicate to your audience. You want to let them know what to expect in your video, why they should stick around and watch it. Tip number two, choose the right gear. In my case, I've always chosen the best possible gear that I could afford at any point in my career. I started out using camcorders back in the 1990s and I've probably had eight or ten different cameras that I've used over the years. Today when I go out and ride I'll use a, a main video camera which is also a stills camera. I'll also use an action camera like a GoPro and finally I'll bring a drone with me. You might not want to bring all that gear yourself. It just depends on your budget and how much time you're willing to put into learning how to use this kind of equipment and how much you think you'll actually use it on the road. Uh, but the point is is that you need to get the right gear to film your journey, learn how to use it, and then go out and do it. Right now, I have a DJI Mavic 2 Pro, and then I'm running the Fujifilm X-T3. Um, I have a 56 1.2, which is kind of like the, our B-roll lens, and then I have the main lens, which is just a 16 to 55, and then I also have the 50 to 140. Tip number three, get organized. So where do you keep your camera gear? So I have a second bag that I strap onto the top. It's still not a very good solution though because it's just not that efficient to get things out when I need to stop and, and pull some stuff out. So I'll probably get some sort of a tank bag that I can just have my camera in and access it really quickly. If you can't find your cameras or if they're packed away deep in the bottom of your pannier, you'll be far less likely to pull them out and use them along the way. Yeah, so this is how I set up my camera here. I have it on a, in a backpack right on the back seat, so whenever I stop, I can just open it up and pull it out. It's easy to access, and then I can unattach the backpack when I go into a, a hotel or something like that. I think I'm just gonna have to wear my camera like around my body if I'm gonna be keeping up with Sterling this whole time. Tip number four, set expectations. This one is really, really important, and it makes a difference whether you're riding solo or whether you're ri riding with a group of other people. But setting expectations is all about coming to a common agreement with your other riding partners about what level of commitment you all have to filming the motorcycle journey. Maybe they invited you along on a ride and asked you to film it, or maybe you volunteered to film that ride. But think about what that really means ahead of time. How much work are you willing to put into the filming along the way? Because it really changes the journey. You know, it might sound really easy on paper that we're gonna go out and film a motorcycle ride, but if you really wanna make a high quality, good, dynamic, powerful story about your motorcycle journey, it's gonna cha change everything on the trip. It's gonna take a lot of extra work and a lot of extra time. 
I think the benefit that I've learned personally is that that extra commitment gives my own journeys a sense of higher purpose. So when I'm out traveling on a great motorcycle adventure and filming it at the same time, it's the filming part that really gives me that extra edge, that extra sense of purpose about the mission that I'm on. And it just makes it so much more re rewarding to me in the end because of that. So also riding with us on this trip is my girlfriend, Eva. Going on hey, gorgeous. Hi, good morning. <laughs> We're going on a motorcycle ride. This is my first ride on my beautiful new motorcycle, so I'm super stoked about that. Tip number five, focus on the riding. Is it just gonna be a helmet camera looking at the road going by in front of you? Or are you actually gonna get off your motorcycle and set up shots where you can see motorcycles traveling across the landscape and see these beautiful places that you're going to? You have to have the right gear. You have to be ready, have it packed, have it organized, easily accessible. And you have to really communicate well with the rest of the riders. The same thing goes when you're riding by yourself. You have to be clear about your own expectations and find the discipline to be able to stop your own ride, get off the bike, set up some shots, get those photos. If you don't take the time to do that on your journey, you're not going to be filming a motorcycle ride and it won't look nearly as good as it can. When you start to see something along the way that really piques your interest or speaks to you, stop. Get off your bike, take a picture of it. Because if you don't, soon enough, those things are gonna disappear and you'll be in a completely different place and you might end up wishing that you would have got some shots or some footage of that while you were there. The last thing I would add is that on any motorcycle journey, things are gonna get difficult. And what usually happens in those situations is that people tense up and they kind of get tunnel vision. I feel like that's exactly the time when you want to be taking the camera out and filming these things because those are the most powerful, most dramatic moments of a motorcycle story. And I guarantee you that it's going to be one of the most difficult parts of filming your motorcycle journey. Those are absolutely some of the best parts of the motorcycle films that I've been involved with. It's a great ride. We're not really stopping to do much filming but we did stop here to get something cold to drink and I wanted to show these guys this little town of Portal. Tip number six, focus on the places. One of the greatest parts of motorcycle travel and adventure is that you get to see so many wonderful places that you wouldn't normally see. Make sure you take enough time to interact with the places that you're going to on this journey. Get off the bike, shut off the engine and explore the world around you. There's really not a lot here, but this cool restaurant and cafe, and they have a little stage out back. They're doing some music here. It seems like things are opening up a little bit more and more every day. And we're gonna go around the corner and have a look at the, the entrance to the Chiricahua Mountains, which is really spectacular. It's like our own little version of Yosemite Valley here in Southeastern Arizona. Are you learning anything so far? Am I a good, good enough teacher? I'm just copying you, man, whatever you're doing. <laughs> I see you pull out a camera, I'm pulling out the camera, you know. <laughs> Tip number seven, focus on the process. When you're on a long distance adventure motorcycle ride, there are a lot of things that you need to do on a regular basis to keep everything going smoothly. It could be how you organize and pack your gear, how you set up your camp, how you prepare your meals. All of these little processes are things that are a regular part of an adventure motorcycle journey. And I think they offer an interesting look into what it's like to do that kind of experience. Eva has some serious backcountry skills, so I gave her the mission of setting up our shelter this evening. So we got a couple of ground tarps. We got some steaks. And got our top tarp. Uh, we got some brand new fresh pea cord and everybody knows that if you just cut pea cord, it's gonna unravel. We're gonna make sure we slice it with a knife and then burn the ends. Record more than you think you need to. Like always just record. I think that's the main takeaway. We made it to our destination here in New Mexico, and we're just like checking out the property here of Owen and Elizabeth, which is really cool. This is like a Burning Man camp, sort of like 
Burning Man refugees out here in the desert of New Mexico. Tip number eight, focus on people. People that you encounter when you're riding a motorcycle in the backcountry or in a different part of the world are usually very curious about what it is that you're doing, where you're going, where you're from, and those people are a window into a different world that you're privileged to be experiencing at that moment. This might mean breaking out of your own comfort zone a little bit and starting conversations with strangers and finding a way to get them to appear in your video. A lot of people come up here, they build their own stuff. They're building for years and years because it does take a while and a lot of people like to live in a big acreage because we like our space and but then we also like to get together in Madrid and collect at the bars and the restaurants there and you know everybody's really friendly but you know you also mind your manners it's wild west you know I find it very helpful to just be very open and honest that I'm a filmmaker and I have a camera and I'm making a motorcycle travel film and would you be interested in telling me about where you live where we are right now and people are usually pretty friendly and open about those kinds of things and I think that they can add such a powerful and rich dimension to your motorcycle travel video. A lot of people are into solar and um, collecting their rainwater and you know there are people who are really really strong in the permaculture side of things but in general there's just a really self-sufficient vibe you know and even like the cowboys are doing that kind of stuff. Tip number nine, bring it all back home. What this means to me is that you return to the story that you started with in the beginning. We're gonna go from point A to B or we're gonna try to accomplish this. Then you show that happening throughout the movie and in the end, you kind of summarize all of this by returning back to that story, reminding yourself, reminding the audience what that story is. You know, we've been with Ryan and Nima for the last two weeks and I feel like we're kind of in this transition, like we're closing one little chapter of our lives. We did it with a great motorcycle trip and capped it off with some wonderful friends and um, it's gonna be fun to roll home just me and Sterling and see what the the Jonquil in Bisbee Arizona has in store for us next yeah it's a great place I feel like um, currently just what what's going on around the United States we as people are in a very pivotal point and I'm very focused on the message we spread and the way in which we spread it I'm definitely feeling a weight of responsibility to share a message so that's what we're gonna do so we're leaving ryan and nima in new mexico to continue on their journey and eva and i are headed back to our motel in bisbee arizona feel free to stop in at the jonquil motel our motorcycle motel in bisbee that's where we live and we'd be happy to see you my final tip is that it's more than just motorcycling. To me, a motorcycle is just a vehicle to get out into the world, see a new place, meet new people, have an experience that you wouldn't otherwise have. And my own personal litmus test has always been, would someone who's not even a motorcyclist enjoy this movie? I really hope that you've enjoyed these 10 tips about filming your motorcycle adventure. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, drop me a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.